Hey all today we're going to work on a pen 114H or pen senator 114H. So let's just get right to it. This one has maybe a couple of issues on it. Um, one thing I see off the bat is that the screw here for the uh, real stand is broken off. The top is broken off. Not that big of a deal. We just replace it. Let's go ahead and get the handle removed. Moving this set screw right here. And now we can remove the hand the screw for the handle. comes off like that this just pops up there is a spacer washer under here let's go ahead and back this up get this removed under the the drag tensioner there's another spring or washer loaded washer that's for the dog so we can pull the sleeve out and let's go ahead and remove the side plates one thing to note on here is that this the screws on these side plates are different for each side. The right side plate screws will generally be longer, uh, usually in the real stand, but can also be for these screws as well. So we'll check that when we take them out. So one thing I noticed is that one of these shoes, these screws are shorter than the rest of them. Uh, so someone probably took it apart or worked on it and put the screws in the wrong place. So we'll keep this to the side. Let's go ahead and get the, the left side plate off right now so we can check those screws out. See how dirty inside there is? A lot of crud. Yeah, so I'm guessing someone opened this up, realized it was just pretty nasty, and was like, ah, I don't want to deal with it. And here's a long screw. So we're supposed to have three short screws or shorter screws for the stand on this side for the right side. And looks like we have one too few long screws and one too many short screws. It's not the end of the world. It, it can certainly be used, uh, but that's essentially not the way it is. Uh, the one thing you do want to take note of is the real stand screws, which are these. This is for the right side and this is for the left side. So the left side stand screws will be shorter than the right side. Okay, let's go ahead and take the beater rings off of this. Okay. 
and the uh, the click dog and the clicker do, do not come out of this one they're built into the side plate just removing the left side bearing and let's do the stand now because we have that one screw that's sheared off at the top And now we can go to the right side of it. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, screw for the eccentric. Let's hope this one is not as hard as the other one. No, that's not too bad. Now we can pop this off. And to remove the bridge, which is this plate right here, we're gonna undo the screws on this side. I'm just holding my hand over this to protect against anything shooting out and getting lost. Okay, so we'll let this come up gently and the dog right here or the dog spring just shot out on us. That's why we keep our hand over it. You can just push it straight up to get it out. Like so. This came off of the uh, The drag stack, this is the bearing for the right side. And our eccentric, I'm sorry, our pinion and our yoke. Let's go ahead and get the drag stack out. Yeah, they're pretty worn. This one's pretty worn. It's not so bad here. We can get all these replaced. There's a washer that should, there it is, under the main gear that protects it against this right there. All right, so to remove the this gear off the post, there's a pin inside here that you'll have to knock out. You can use a blunt uh, nail, a pin, Whatever you have that fits in that hole and is pretty strong and you can just bang it out. I'll do this off camera, but I'll show you, um, I'll show you how to put it back in when we put the wheel back together. All right, so for the eccentric, simply push up, lift it out, comes off like that. Now we can take off this lug. And remove the beauty rings. Uh, 
and that's that. That's how you break down a pen 114H uh, pen senator. It's a 6 0 size reel. It gets all cleaned up, and I'll come back to you and show you how to put it all together. Okay, we're back. Uh, the the four, sorry, the six has been cleaned up. All the crud has been taken out of here. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on putting this reel back together. I think I'll start with the uh, the reel stand. Do that. So the screw was replaced with this one. This head's a little wider, but they're all the same in terms of thickness of the screws. We'll get those set in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to this. Good. Now let's get the left side plate and work on that next. I'm going to grease up the clicker. And I grease the ring as well. Add a little bit of oil under here. Okay, now we can get our beater rings and get those in. I'm going to add some grease to the inside of these rings. Now we can put our posts on. So let's get the reader ring added. See if we can get this right the first time. Yeah, that's good. Now let's do this one. That looks like about right there. There looks good. Yep. Wipe this down real quick. Okay. Let's get our screws and our posts. So for these posts, I'm going to add some grease to each one of these just so we have a little bit of protection in there from the screws getting locked in. Let's do both at the same time. Good. All right, so let's get our screws put in. Separate our stand screws and get our pulse screws. Don't be difficult.
first post. Good, now we can do our stand. Get it out of the way as well. We don't really need to tighten these down yet. All right, so now we can set that to the side. And we can do our spool while we're here. That looks good. Let me go ahead and get this bearing put into the left side as well while we're here. Uh, the bearings are already oiled. I'm actually going to add a little bit of grease inside here as well. Just to help the bearing not get stuck in there. I'm just working the grease in. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Now let's do our bridge and get this bad boy put back on. Okay, so obviously I'm going to grease this up. That's where the pin will sit to lock this on. Now you don't want to put too much grease on here, but you do want to get it greased. Okay, now we can put this on. That feels good. Yeah, okay. Now we take our pin. Find the hole and stick it in. Sometimes easier said than done. Now I said I was going to show you this on camera, so hopefully I can do that. That's gonna be tricky right there. All right, so here it goes. Okay, so the pin's in. Uh, the one most important part here is that once you get the pin in, you wanna make sure that it's flush or below the surface so that the main gear can step over it. Let's go ahead and re-grease this entire thing again. Just real light and quick. Because we kind of took most of it off there. And now we can grease this. Then we can take our drag and put that on. While I'm here, I'm going to stick some grease in the threading for the screws here. This is where the handle screw sits or goes in. All right, so let's get our main gear, get that greased up.
Okay, now we can stick our sleeve on with this washer here on, on with our main gear. And now we can do our drag stack. Alright, so we're replacing the drags on this. I'm gonna grease these up with some dry grease. And it's really just a light coat, it's not slopped on there. So first was the fiber drag washer, then goes on a keyed washer, keyed metal washer. Another fiber drag washer, metal aired washer, fiber drag washer, keyed washer, fiber drag washer, aired washer, and last set is another fiber drag washer and one more keyed washer. And on top of that goes this pressure plate. Essentially, this is just a tensioning washer. And we can set that to the side. Now we can jump to the right side and get that put in. For the right side, uh, what I do is just the inside uh, beauty ring. I don't do the outside yet. Let's go ahead and grease the inside of this. Where are we at? Right here. So let's just get that look in place. Okay, back to the right side. Now I'm gonna take our right side plate and I'm going to get that worked on. Pull our screws out here for the bridge. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put the eccentric back in. And the way I do that is as follows. I'll grease this up. And I'll also grease in here where the screw goes. A little more grease in there. That looks pretty good. Now we'll take the spring, the bent end, add a dab of grease to the tip of it and stick it inside the hole here. Now the way the eccentric sits is the prong of that post, um, that spring it needs to fit inside that groove right there. I think you can see that. So now to set this in place, what I do is take the eccentric lever, rest it on without screwing it on, and if it keeps failing on you, you can screw it on certainly. Find the balance point in the middle. Now I can flip this around and screw it in place.
good. Okay, now we can do our jack and our yolk. Grease up the yolk. And the jack as well. And I'll grease the around the edges of the dog, but not the, on the point that engages. As well as the spring here. And I'm gonna also grease that post right there where the jack sits. Okay, so to set this in place, I'm dropping the bearing in. Set this in place. I'm gonna take our not fully threaded screw, stick it through the spring. And I'm doing this to help support the uh, the springs like so get our pinion gear get that greased up take our yoke and stick that on there and the way the yoke sits is the curved end faces the eccentric we may just have to pull these screws out so we'll let them fall out and you simply push down like that just to secure it now I'm going to take my jack while I'm securing the yoke and get that set in place like so and what I like to do is I like to bring it back to free spool to keep the yoke in place. It should stay either way, but I like it like that. When I put the main gear in, I'll put it back into retrieve mode so that I can move this around easier. All right, now here comes the fun stuff with this drag. I'm sorry, with this dog. So I'm going to take the fully threaded screw that goes into the uh, ridge, insert that, get our dog sat on there, and I'll show you how this dog sits. It'll be upside down, so the dog has to be facing the teeth at an angle like that. So essentially your dog will be sitting like that. Get the dog over there and we won't install this yet the spring we'll wait till we get the main gear kind of situated in there this is more of a balancing act than anything else so the way i do it is Push the dog in, I'm sorry, the main gear in like that. Like so. And I want to make sure my drag is still fine. Yep. And notice how the dog sits on top of the main gear. Now we can take uh, tweezers. If I can find my tweezers. And set our dog in place. The way it's going to sit is around the point just like this.
like that. Now we can push down on our yoke. Hold on. Push down on our yoke. I knew it was going to happen. I could see it coming. <laughs> That's funny. Let's try that again. Keep that raised there. Get our dog in place. These springs are kind of tricky to work with sometimes, but for the most part, it's not that bad. So then we're just going to slowly rotate our bridge over to find the screw hole right there. I'm going to screw this in to secure it. Then I'm going to take the non fully threaded screw, stick it through the first hole for the spring. Sometimes I you have to play with these a little bit to get the spring lined up. Pop that over there. That should be good. Let's find out. There we go. I'm not tightening, this, tightening these on yet all the way. I'm just getting them secured. And we're going to test our dog to make sure it's working which I'm confident it is and just it's good to double check okay so to check our dog sounds good I'm gonna add a little bit of grease right here okay sounds good all right, so that's that for the bridge. And the hard part is uh, all done. Now we can move on to the easy bits, usually, which is just installing the beater rings and the handle. Line that up, get it pushed on. Now we can take our other beater ring, get that greased up. And the way I put this on is I'll balance the eccentric like that, angle the beauty ring, and just do a little wiggle. Or a little more of a wiggle. Where's my dip? There it is. Little wiggle, and we can get that over it like that. And that's lined up also, which is good. All right, so I'll take one of these posts off. And what I typically like to do is the one with the uh, with the lug on it, so I know that I'm going right there, which is where the lug will sit. I'm going to use our short, I'm sorry, our long screw for here for the lug. We'll get that put in. Line these up a little bit better. See if it works. That should be good. Uh, where's my lug? Get that stuck in there. All right, get our screw in. Get our post. Screw that on. And now we're just gonna attach both sides together. I'm just clean my hands a little bit here. Okay, so let's get our left side. This is a screw for the post here. 
function. Nice. Okay. Get our other side. Put that in like that. Find the groove. What you're going to notice is that this will keep moving around on you, so I'm going to have to open this back up to get that, put the free spool to get that bearing set right, and then I can certainly lock it back up, right? But first we'll open it, put in a free spool to get it secured, and then we can do that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to secure the left side again with this one post. Where's my screw? so that we have it connected and not falling around all over the place. That's not the right screw, where is it? Oh yeah, we're good there. Okay, now again, I'm not really tightening this down the entire way, I just want to secure it so it doesn't flop around. Now I can set it like this and get the rest of the screws in. Okay, now we can put the rest of the components in, which will just be parts for the drag and the handle. First we go with the sleeve, like so. Our thick tension washer, which sits like that. And now we can put on our star drag. good. Now we can get our handle on. Oh, we missed the washer. Let's get our washer on first. Then we can stick our handle on there. On with this screw. getting the hole lined up. That looks good. Get our set screw in place. Press it at an angle. And then we're just going to screw that in. that and that's how you put together a pen 60 or pen 114h sounds good there's our free spool you can loosen that up for more you'll get a little wobble in the spool if you do that good free spool tighten it up I prefer it like that. Drag works nicely, really tight. Let's get it in gear. Yeah, we could lock this down a lot. 
yeah, I can't stop that. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time.